top the latest in our continuing coverage of the First Baptist Church of Shreveport bus crash. Two days after surviving that rollover accident, two teens who were on that church bus headed to Georgia are sharing their stories. KTBS 3's Casey Ferrand joins us with that. And Casey, these girls have so much to be thankful for. They do, Jerry, and they say they aren't... There aren't enough words to express their gratitude to all the people who were at their side minutes after their bus tossed them to the side of the road, and they say it's a miracle they're alive today. I heard the tire blow out, and I was kind of opened my eyes, and then she just grabbed me. Rhiannon Bates says she was asleep beside her friend Lindsey Johnson when the bus carrying them and 21 others to Georgia for a youth camp rolled several times, landing on its side alongside Interstate 20 and Meridian. I don't remember stopping. I just remember crawling out of the bus from the roof because we landed on the side. The 17 year olds say many of the people aboard were tossed from the bus, but when they made it out, there were dozens of National Guard troops by their side. God was there and I really think the um, Army Reserves were angels. Angels who did a miraculous feat. They told us to lay down and then they were automatically just lived in the charter bus off of Lauren and Maggie. Um, it was a sight to see. <laughs> A sight she says she can't forget, seeing her friends beneath the bus. It's kind of hard because, you know, when I close my eyes, that's all I can really see. I know the bus wasn't meant to flip or wreck, but the Army Reserves were meant to be there. The girls suffered minor injuries, but now their prayers are with their friends still recovering. Some people would be angry with God, but I'm not angry at all. I'm just, just blessed. The girls say, if anything, their experience has made their faith in God stronger. Now, Rhiannon celebrated her 17th birthday yesterday, and her church delivered all the ingredients for a party to her home. But Jerry, her mother, says it was a special day because things could have been a lot worse. Oh, I'm sure they sure could have been. Unfortunately, they were uh, for some of her friends That's right. on that bus. All right, Casey, thanks for bringing us their story. And now we have an update on the conditions of three teens who were injured in the accident. The three are being treated at University Medical Center in Jackson. Maggie Lee Henson and Lauren Murchinson are still in the pediatric ICU. Sarah Smith is out of the ICU and has been moved to a private room. Now, at this hour, a memorial service for Brandon Ugarte, the 14-year-old who was killed in the crash. That's happening at Osborne Funeral Home, and a prayer service will be held there tonight at 7 o'clock. The funeral mass is tomorrow morning at 10 at St. John Berkman Cathedral, and Ugarte will be...